We got some swim baits to unbox in today's video, you guys, so let's get right to it. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some Tackle Warehouse goodies. If you guys hopped onto one of our lives recently for the Aggressively Average Anglers, we did an episode all about swim baits and we had our very own swim bait nerd on the show. He used to go by Fish in the Southeast, he now goes by Brown Bait Co. and he helped me pick out a whole bunch of swim baits. Now, he tried to absolutely decimate my wallet and that got me thinking, swim baits definitely can be expensive. However, there are quite a few that are very affordable. So, I went back into my cart before placing the order Order. We picked up a few expensive ones. All these are all soft swim baits, by the way. And we picked up a few budget ones. Now, from time to time, if you guys go on to Tackle Warehouse or any other Tackle store, you will find swim baits on clearance. Sometimes that clearance is an absolute joke, as in $2 off, and sometimes it's an insane deal. So I want to share with you what we found when we went perusing the store this last order. So we're going to get some first looks in. And then as always on the aggressively average anglers, we like to go hit the water. We want to fish these things. We want to see if we can produce on it, but by all means, let us know in the comments below what you think of these baits and whether or not you fish them at home. Let's get to it. Oh, and PS, if you like this stuff, maybe subscribe. Thanks. I've got two there in the 20 to $30 range per bait for a soft plastic swim bait. Sounds expensive to me. I don't know what you guys think. And then I've got a few that were in that range that were actually on clearance, which is really cool. I've got my receipts here so I can give you the prices on each and every one of these. Oh, and I have one of the craziest baits I've ever seen. So I'll save that one for last, all right? First up off the top, this is a newer bait. You guys have seen me unbox the Baca Burrito. This is the Bullshad X Burrito Baits Baca Burrito. This one being the Nacho. It's like the little dinky version. So the Baca Burrito full size that I have, which is a silicone plastic bait, by the way, so it doesn't lose its shape at all. It's hyper durable, insanely durable bait. I got the big one in this white with like a little red flake pattern. So I ended up going with a darker pattern for this one. Also, Tackle Warehouse only had two colors, white or black and blue. So I went black and blue. Why not? I was excited for this one. It is a downsized version of that Baca burrito and gosh dang is it gonna catch some fish check this thing out so up close really nice eyes on this again it's that silicone so it's got a bit of stretch to it this thing should be able to should be able to catch fish after fish after fish after fish and have zero problems and look at that you got the top hook here you can run this thing on bottom as much as you want in fact it's got a nice flat section so does the full size one so it can actually just like sit there so I'm gonna be creeping this thing on bottom as our water temps are just now approaching 45 degrees. It's still pretty cold. I've got a really good shot at uh, slaying some hogs on this thing. I think I can pull it off. Much lighter than the other one. I think the other one is closer to two ounces. This one is, I don't know. It's probably in the description on Tackle Warehouse, which I am not in front of at this moment, but it is 4.5 inches and it's got a bit of heft to it, but this is something you could throw on like your bigger jig setups. Uh, if you have like a small swim bait rod, a lot of the heavy sticks nowadays, they just say small swim bait on them. So if you have one of those, it's kind of a broomstick. It's not my ideal swim bait setup, but it could definitely work with something like this. Black and blue flake looks fantastic. I think this could be a good color for me this time of year running on bottom. So as small as that bait is, it is $30, $29.99. That's one of the it ain't cheap category baits. So keep that in mind as we go through this. The next lower price tier is $23.99. And that is one of the ones next to this burrito nacho here, nacho burrito, whatever you want to call it. Next to that one, this is another one that Brendan Brown, who was on our podcast recommended. In fact, he's been telling me to get this bait for a long, long time. And that is the Little Creeper Trash Fish. Again, $23.99. We got quite a bit more bait to work with though, versus that uh, nacho. This is a much bigger eight inch bait. And holy cow. Oh, there's like instructions all up in this. Check this out. So here's your rigging instruction. This is a non-rigged bait. So you rig it yourself. And it also does not come with a hook. So that is $24 for a big hunk of plastic. Don't worry, we got cheaper ones coming real soon. I found quite a deal that I wanna share with you guys. They had quite a bit of stock when I found it, so you might still be able to go and get them. All right, so number one with this bait, they did a great job protecting that tail. There's actually like a big molded 
piece here and then they actually stapled his bag all around this bait. So good news about that is your investment is protected. Oh man, this is way girthier than I thought it was gonna be. Check out the tail mold. So definitely keeping that for when I put this into a tackle box, I can save this tail. And it just kind of like, oh, that is a massive tail. Look at that thing. So you just take this and then you can just pop your tail back in there. That way when this is sitting in your tackle box, again, I'm not gonna let it touch any other plastics, but in like my Busby Deep, like I think this could be perfectly fine. Like that tail's not getting messed up. Man, this is, look at this thing. So first of all, let me take that off so we can show it off. It's got quite a bit of heft to it. It is really, really realistic looking. You've got all the fins all over the place on this and they're very thin material, so they're gonna be moving a lot. It's got a good amount of pliability. Look at this freaking cavity in here. It is massive. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. So it looks like kind of a bottom feeding fish, right? It's a trash fish. I'm the trash man. <laughs> Get in the ring and start throwing garbage. Look at this tail. That is gonna kick so hard. All right, tell me more. You know, oh, instruction things. So the eight inch trash fish needs a 10 aught owner beast weighted or and or unweighted hook. Good news, I have one. So I think we're good there, I can use that. And if that doesn't work, there's a 10 aught in one of these other baits I'm gonna show you. So I can just steal that one as well. Uh, I ripped half the instructions off, so that's fine. Okay, basically all of this is just how to rig it. So no information on how to fish it. I'll be looking into it or I'll just hit up my buddy Brendan Brown and we'll find out. My guess, again, bottom cre little creeper, bottom creeper. It's got a slow moving, heavy movement tail. So I imagine I'm just crawling this thing on the bottom. Am I close? Let me know in the comments. Uh, so we need that 10 knot owner beast hook. So I'm gonna grab that. And this is a uh, light hitch is the color by the way. So again, check this out. Look how wide this bait is. Look at that. The absolute girth. This thing is built different for sure. So it feels pretty heavy duty. I can't imagine this thing really falling apart on me. It looks like it's gonna hold up really well. I'm excited to see what this crazy tail can do. And yeah, this looks like it's gonna be fun to fish. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and protect my investment. This is a $24 piece of plastic here and uh, keep that tail mold on. Next. Okay, so you don't always have to buy the most expensive swim baits to have a good time. But I did wanna showcase some of the higher end ones so we can compare them to these lower end ones. Lower end. Sometimes you can get multi-packs of swim baits. A great example would be some companies like Savage Gear. So Savage Gear puts out something like this, which is a pulse tail. And uh, it's actually a four inch swim bait with a pretty heavy moving tail. Uh, but downsize, you know, it's seven eighths of an ounce, not super heavy, comes in a clamshell package, kind of like your normal soft plastics, and we can use it a bunch of different ways. Now, these come pre-rigged. Well, one does, the other one's ready to be rigged. Check this out, little tiny baby, right? So got that heavy moving, almost like a micro Huddleston here, tail there. So it's gonna give a good kick for how small it is. Seven eighths of an ounce, so it's, it's a bit lighter. It's under an ounce, so you can still give this thing a good send. You've got an offset hook already tucked up in here. Takes a, what looks like a screw lock? I don't know. How do I rig the other one is the question, really. So here's the non-rigged one. Oh, by the way, they got quite the scent. Uh, there's a little opening here, you guys can even see that, where you can slide it. Instead of using a screw lock, it's like pre-screw locked for you. So you just take your belly weighted hook, right? Instead of using the screw lock, you just slide it on through the eye of the belly weighted hook. So you can make that work. So very weedless. You don't even have to skin hook this hook right there. It just slides right into that dorsal fin section there. And yeah, you are weedless. So this color is listed as LB Greenback, but really well matches the hatch, I would say. This is going to look like the bait fish in the lakes that I fish most of the time. It's gonna match the size of those bait fish. So if I'm running this thing around schools and around cover where I know bass are waiting uh, to pounce, this is gonna get bit. Pretty cool little swim bait and even pre-rigged fits into this nice little clamshell. So that's nice. So I can bring that thing with me, no problem. So for eight and a half bucks, you got two baits, you got one hook really, so you have to like, don't lose that hook or you can use one of your other belly weighted hooks. But it comes with one hook, 
two plastics. Not bad for a scented bait fish pattern swim bait, especially in this size. I think it's cool. Okay, I was gonna save this one for last. It's not what I would say is cheap. It was actually $14.97, which is the clearance price on Tackle Warehouse. I, You can guess why it's on clearance when I show it to you. Uh, it is a JDM bait, so it is from overseas. And uh, it's very interesting. So for $14.97, is this worth it, is what you gotta ask. And this is what I mean, you can go on Tackle Warehouse. I would constantly do this whenever I'm bored instead of scrolling some app somewhere. I would be looking on Tackle Warehouse. What's on clearance right now? What can I get? Sometimes you get insane deals. And sometimes you get, is this a deal? Or is this just, uh, they're trying to dispose of all products that they have <laughs> in their warehouse. So here it is. It is called, what I'm gonna say, I wanna say bacon every time I see this, but it's like Boracon 150. Uh, it is like, well, let's get it out. Let's get it out, okay? Obviously you can see this is a JDM bait overseas. There's a, there's a little QR code on there. I'm sure once I scan it, I won't be able to read anything, but maybe somebody can. It is a soft plastic swim bait. Comes in this like rainbow trout pattern. I didn't expect that at all. Okay, so it, it had, I thought this was like a bill. It is not. It is, well, ow. Okay, well, the hooks are sharp. There you go. It is like a soft, it's a soft bill. It's a, have, is that a thing? Is that a thing that anybody's seen before? Look at this weird like white spot on the top. So you guys check this out. We got a, we got a soft bait that has two major joints, like big wide open joints. So lots of movement there. Two very sharp trebles hanging from the bottom. These two are linked together for some reason. Again, I, I have no idea what this bait is. This is a bait that as we were surfing on the podcast, Brennan Brown was like, hey, that's I've heard things about this. You might want it. And I was like, all right, cool. It's pretty hefty. It's got a lot of weight to it. Feels like it's got a big old jig head weight up front. And then you got two tie-in points, right? So I, it looks like I could do some different stuff with this. I'm probably just gonna use the top one at least to start and try this out. I have no idea, like, how is this gonna swim? It's got a soft bill. It's super heavy. It's got trebles. Do you run it? I think this is one where he was like, you might even run this upside down. Like maybe that's what this second rigging is for. Like it's just a dying fish. I am baffled by this bait. I am at a loss for words. Okay, so it's called the Borakin because uh, it looks like Bora, which is a flathead gray mullet. Okay, uh, realistic wave motion, which cannot be created by herd lures. I don't know what that means. Reliable connected wire construction, even on tough fight. So it's connected, I believe, so that those joints don't just rip apart if you got a big old fish on this thing. Uh, it's 150 millimeters, Boric 150, 48 grams. Nerds in the comments, tell me how many ounces that is. Uh, rigged with two hooks, two number two size hooks. They're very sharp. I don't know what to do with this thing, but I am glad that I got it. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I am pretty sure this is one he mentioned you can rig upside down, but anyways, check that out. There's a little star stamp in it. Why? I don't know. Uh, cool little print job. I definitely appreciate the little scales on there as well. Nice fins. Uh, soft, but feeling kind of sturdy. I don't know, there's a weight here, there's a weight here. I'm gonna try rigging this a few different ways. I'm sure there's some cool stuff that we could do with this. Well, I bought that bait, I sure did. Okay, don't you feel cool, buddy? So I'm probably keep this in here and then chuck it into my tackle box. If you got a, a deep tackle box, that should fit. So anyways, I thought it looked kind of cool. I'm excited to try it out. Why the heck not? I've got two baits left, one that I got two of, so I can share with Paul. And uh, this, this first one is microscopic. Again, another JDM bait. This is from Durialis. Look at this thing, it's called the Nomas Gill. And this rigs in a very interesting way. You guys will think this is cool. Check this out. So we have here the smallest swim bait I've ever seen. I mean, look at it. Look at that guy. That is ridiculously small. Okay, cool. Already love it. Um, but you'll notice there's no tie-in point. There's no tie-in point up here. That's interesting. There is a hole in its ear. So what do we do? Well, this bait comes with a little weedless, looks like a weedless wacky hook. And what you're supposed to do with this 
is you actually just thread the hook right on through that hole. And if you, you can't really see it because of the camera lights, but maybe on an angle here, see that weight there? So there's actually a molded weight in here with a tie-in point up here. So this is not through plastic, it's through metal. There's a little metal ring there holding that on. And then I'm gonna cast this thing out, probably on a spinning setup, it's super light. And uh, yeah, look like a dying bait fish. <laughs> This, this order is nothing if not the most unique baits that I could find that fell into the soft plastic swim bait category. Um, man, this thing's pretty cool. Nice little finesse outfit. Love the eyes on it. Detail is fantastic. I wouldn't expect anything less from Duo Realis. So neat. I've never fished a swim bait this way and now I shall. The burrito baits nacho is fantastic. The trash fish really cool. These baits are super unique and I'm excited to go just see what they do. I don't even care if I catch on them, I just wanna see what they do. So I have a quantity of two of this last bait, and this bait is what I'm talking about. This is what you look for on Tackle Warehouse on clearance. This is a $22 bait, regular price, and it is currently $4.97. Is that correct, I believe? $4.97. Oh, and that Noma skill is actually $5.97, so this, this little tiny thing right here is a dollar more than this gigantic swim bait right here. That's right, this River to Sea Trigger Trout, currently the JSJ Trigger Trout, $4.97. Like that's what I'm talking about. If I go on Tackle Warehouse for clearance, I'm like, where is this kind of deal at? And I found it. So this is really cool. I'm excited to fish it. Let's rip her open. And it also comes with a giant belly weighted hook. So we've got a sinking soft plastic bait. Packaging's terrible, I don't care, because it's basically this bait was free. Oh no, I lost my little spring, so that's kind of problematic. Where'd you go? I miss you so. Seems like it's been forever. Got it. Okay, so it is a action sinking. Uh, swim bait, special design hook channel, easy center screw lock, custom design, extra strong, swim bait hook, tight action, tail design. Okay, it's a 190 millimeters, so it's a big old hefty swim bait, and uh, it weighs three ounces between this plastic and this gigantic hook. Uh, 7.5 inches is what 190 millimeters is. Do they have any size on this hook? I don't know. This looks to me like a 10 knot. What would you guys say? Pretty gigantic hook. Got your little screw lock that comes with it separately. Just snap that on to the end here. And then check out this bait. So pretty pretty durable plastic, nothing super special, I don't know. Look at the tail. So a little fork tail, big and bulky. So it's more like what I would assume is like faster moving, right? We're gonna get a ton of action there. Uh, nice realistic design to it, really nice river to sea eyes on that as well. And yeah, just looks like uh, maybe a little trout, a little bait fish. It looks awesome. So let's go ahead and rig it, because I'm gonna fish it, obviously. It's pretty tough to rig. Very dense plastic. Oh, the screw is almost bending just going into it. <laughs> Holy cow. This might be the most durable one that we got for the day. So we got it rigged. That is never coming out of that screw lock. It is dense. Okay, you got a little hook channel here. It's pretty obvious, actually. It's like... It's almost highlighted, this hook channel. You almost gotta come in from the side. Really easy to rig, holy cow, because it's the hook channel is like all traced out for you, so you can already see it. Even with the lights, normally you can't see translucent baits on camera because the lights are coming this way, but you can almost see that. So that tells you this is a pretty translucent bait. And then we just tuck that hook point in up top, we're good to go. So that is weedless, gigantic swim bait. That's really cool, I'm fishing that this weekend. It's a guaranteed, that's going down and uh, I think I'm gonna catch something on it. Gosh dang. There you go. To me, kind of the deal of the century. I don't know, it doesn't matter if this bait is really old. Also, I can rig a, a treble off the bottom of that belly-weighted hook. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's because it's old. They have a newer version of this out. You know, I'm, I'm ignorant of these facts, but that's a pretty darn cool bait for five bucks. Why would I be upset with that? 
I wouldn't. There we go, that's a lot of swim baits. Uh, showed you some premium options. So again, we're focusing on the soft plastic swim baits. Obviously there are hard swim baits, there are multi-jointed, there are single jointed glide baits. There are all sorts of different products out there in this swim bait category. So I know there can definitely be the case for sticker shock when you look at swim baits. The way I like to look at it is this. Yes, it can be kind of scary purchasing, investing in swim baits or the gear or both, etc. However, they are a ton of fun to fish you can catch absolute giants. You're like unlocking a whole new category of gigantic fish out there for yourself. And they last a lot longer. Like this, this bait, this bait, this is gonna last a long time. As long as you rig it right, as long as you're using the right gear and you're not hucking it into a dumpster or around, you know, just the most insane cover where you shouldn't put anything, you're not gonna lose this bait. Put it on the right gear, Make sure you got the right pound test line, make sure you got the right rod, the right reel, and you're gonna be good. These things will last a long time. Most of us are just throwing jigs in the water like this. We're losing plastics left and right. We're buying a $9 bag of Gary Yamamoto's and then uh, we're burning through those worms, right? So we're making these investments just in different ways. So I'd implore you to consider checking into the swim bait, glide bait category. Broaden your horizons, try some new things. You might be really pleased with what comes out of that. So what did you guys think of the baits that we found on Tackle Warehouse? Let us know in the comments below. How'd we do on the clearance finds? I think we did pretty good. And then what do you think of the new nacho as well as that little creeper bait? Have you used any of these lures before? And what's your take on them? We'd love to hear from you guys, so feel free to comment below. Smash the like if this video is good for you, and maybe subscribe if you want to see some more stuff like this. As always, we'll be live on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, so pop on in and say hi. That's all I got for you guys today, so we'll catch you on the next video. I'm a loser. <laughs>